Hey guys, it's me, Parker. Um, just got back from face surgery. <laughs> uh, my name's Spencer. I actually started Vehicle Virgins with Parker a couple years ago. Uh, but since then, I've been gone. I had a semester abroad for school, which is why most of the videos you've been seeing for the past few months have been him. Uh, I'm back now, summertime is here, and I thought I'd start off with this nice Jag. So what we have is a 2011 model year, Jaguar XF. Um, it's a great sports sedan in my opinion. And uh, let's go see what it feels like on the road. The XF is a handsome brute with a grunt to match. 385 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque yield predictably low EPA estimates of 16 city and 23 highway miles per gallon. The number of smiles while piloting this machine, however, is infinitely greater. Just pulling out of Marin Luxury Cars in Corte Madera, California. This car belongs to them and they graciously let me use it for this video. Jags allowed to feel like this? It's so planted when you turn it. Anything from a highway on ramp to a twisty back road, it feels so solid the way it drives. I didn't really believe the car magazines when I read that this supposedly had a chassis to rival BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, but it absolutely does. This engine sounds so good, I don't even have to make engine noises. The gearbox is definitely another highlight worth mentioning. Uh, it's a six-speed unit, automatic of course, but these paddles shift really quickly and they don't leave a whole lot to be desired to be honest. The seats are great, they're extremely supportive. They're comfort seats, they're not buckets by any means, but they absolutely hold them in place. Look at these gauges, this, look how James Bond this is. That is just awesome. Why doesn't every car have that? Apparently this car's averaged 18 and a half miles per gallon, which I'm assuming is mostly city test drive miles, in which case that's pretty impressive from a 5 liter V8. Jeeves, won't you hold my tea while I get on the freeway? The 2011 Jag XF does 0 to 60 in about, well, let's find out. Okay, and we're there. That felt pretty quick to me. Oh man, this thing rocks. Let's do a quick break. That feels so good. I'd say the pedal's pretty soft. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of feedback until you push on it, but the brakes are extremely responsive, and they do stop this car extremely well. So in conclusion, what do I think about this 2011 Jag XF? Well, it's basically the first car they released under their new owners and under the new image they're trying to capture, and I think it's incredibly well done. It feels like a true sports sedan to me. Um, I would honestly take this over a equivalent BMW 5 Series, Audi A6, Mercedes E-Class, because it just feels a little more alive than the others. And maybe that's cliche to say, but it was Sir William Lyons, founder of Jaguar, who said, the car is the closest thing we'll ever create to something that is alive. Despite mechanical reliability being the Jag's biggest fault, the car still ranked number three in 2011 large luxury cars. It offers stellar performance and refined luxury in one of the most reasonably priced packages available in the new used sports sedan market. If you're ready for maintenance costs, the XF at three years old and just three-fifths of its original MSRP could be the ultimate deal. And if you're local, I'm sure you'll appreciate the additional $2,500 discount at Marin Luxury Cars.